Hi, it's been a little while. So, uh, four months to be exact. Yeah, it's been. So Vilka has gained a few pounds. He now weighs a hundred pounds. I've gained a few gray hairs and uh, I'm in the United States and I have so much to catch you up on. Everything that's happened in the last four months and all the things that have changed and everything that's about to happen. Yes, good boy. You might remember that a year and a half ago, I wanted to drive the Pan American Highway north to south. That was my big dream. Let me introduce you to Expedition Wild. I will spend the next two years of my life driving down the longest motorable road in the entire world, the Pan American Highway. So I drove all the way to Northern Alaska where the Pan Am begins. I know every step that I take is gonna be another step south. And then I drove all the way down to the southern tip of Baja in Mexico. Yep, this definitely feels like a slice of paradise. And there I paused. After five years of full-time travel and filmmaking, I just needed a break. So I took some time off, rekindled my love for running, and worked on some side projects, like my other channel, Unplugged. So I kind of decided to try going barefoot for a while and see how that would feel. From there, my plan was to continue south to South America, but along the way, something changed. I slowly realized that this dream I had been dreaming of was no longer something I wanted to do. You know what I mean? And you know, sometimes we'll spend weeks, months, hell, years sometimes working towards this dream, right? Collecting, putting together all the pieces that will make this dream come true for us. And often to make it feel more real, we'll tell everybody that we know about this dream. Hey, Baba, do you have any dreams? Maybe sticks? Oh yeah, get it. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what happened. Maybe getting Vilk changed my perspective on travel. Say hi to everyone. Maybe it was my creative burnout that made me rethink my work. Maybe after five years of full-time nomadic living, without a home and without much sense of stability, I was just getting to the end of that chapter of my life. Really, no. Somewhere along the way, I just lost my love for this project. You know, instead of filling me with a sense of excitement and joy, it actually filled me with a sense of dread and anxiety and pressure, like I was doing it to prove a point, not for myself. And when I really thought about it deeply, I realized what's the point of driving all that way, of doing this incredible thing, if it doesn't make me feel happy, you know? What's the point of doing this once in a lifetime thing while dreading it? It makes no sense. It made no sense. It made no sense to continue. That alone was so difficult to admit to myself that, you know, something that I had dreamt about and that I had told the entire world about was no longer something I wanted to do. And that in fact, I wanted to do something entirely different. <laughs> so when I did admit that to myself, that was liberating. But then there was a the small problem of, well, sharing that news with the rest of the world. <laughs> and all of you, because I told all of you that I wanted to drive the Pan American Highway, and now I no longer did. I mean, it makes you feel flaky because there's this idea in our society that if you have a dream, then it's the one big dream and you must not change your mind about it and you must bring it about, or I don't know, but I just couldn't help it. Last year was so transformative for me, going through a breakup, spending a year single, getting a dog, and really asking myself some tough questions. I had changed so much in that year and my dreams changed with me. I have decided to, for now, not drive the Pan American Highway to Argentina. And I know that this might disappoint some of you, but at the end of the day, you know, I need to do things that I actually love doing. I feel so lucky and privileged every single day to have this amazing life. And so I want to make sure that everything I do in this life feels authentic, feels real, feels true, feels good apart from that smoke in my eyes. Jeez, 
So I got this email the other day from someone who was like, oh, you're not gonna finish driving the Pan American Highway because you're, you're too weak mentally and physically. And I read that email and it made me feel a little bit sad, but also very happy in a different way because I realized that eh, that's what you think, that's fine. But I have nothing to prove. And that felt really good. <laughs> Not having anything to prove. At some point during the last four months that I took away from YouTube, I realized that changing your mind and changing your dreams is something that you are allowed to do. And sometimes we end up in situations that we never really wanted to be in in the first place. We end up stuck because we kind of kept going with something that we said that we would do or something that we made up in our minds and then we end up, you know, waking up 10 years later and we're still in that situation and we're like, how the hell did I end up here? <laughs> and then I've been there <laughs> and I don't want to be there again. So I realized that the only thing that I can do is do the thing that I wanted to do all along. That was already brewing in my mind a year ago and two years ago, but that I felt so powerfully and so strongly over the last few months. I want to find a home. And no, I don't mean a home on four wheels. I mean an actual home, like a piece of land that I can build a real home on. So over the next few months, I'm going to be traveling all across ah, the United States. <laughs> hey, buddy. <sighs> Filming, making videos, yes, getting to know the country, the people and the land, but also low-key looking for a place that I can actually move to permanently. Get inside. Good boy. <laughs> okay, so you might be wondering why the United States? I can't explain it. <laughs> I can't explain it, but last year when I spent a month in Montana, I just felt so at home. I really felt like that was my place. Like it was my soul spot. But since I'm looking for a place that will be my home base for years to come, I want to take my time and explore all the options. There are so many amazing places in the US and beyond, and I want to be really intentional about where I end up. And I want to share that homecoming journey with you. Here's a little preview of what's to come. Down, oh my God, it's so fucking steep! Woohoo! Oh, there's some really deep sand here. God, it's so tight. This is a 40-foot RV. I also just realized that I put the tent right underneath this tree, which looks like it's about to fall, and there's a storm coming. I love it. 95.83 kilometers. Better walk. Good. Uh huh. Rattlesnake. Rattlesnake. Fuck. Rattlesnake. Why are you coming towards me, you freak? What is it, buddy? <laughs> you a bit tired? Yeah, I'm also a bit tired and knee deep in snow. As usual, I don't really know my exact route, but I do know that I'll probably cross the US west to east this time. I guess the expedition continues. It just happened to take an unexpected turn, as expeditions sometimes do. So I call this Expedition Wild USA. And here's a quick little note. My YouTube content will always be free, but if you'd like to support my journey, you can also subscribe to me on Patreon. Patreon gives you access to more content, early releases of my YouTube films, and exclusive video commentaries on every YouTube film from here on out. That's a new feature. Check it out on patreon.com slash Ava Zubek. And thank you for getting this far. I really appreciate all of you on here. And I'm so grateful that you've stuck around. Thank you.